What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my first ever Q&A video. Wait, am I supposed to do the drum roll first? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Anyways, I'm excited. I've been thinking about doing one for a while and I thought, now is the time. So I gave you guys options on a Instagram poll of how you best wanted to, or how you, of how you wanted to ask questions. Um, and I ended up just going for all of the options in the end because there were so many different like options and people voted for all of them so screw it, why not? So I posted an Instagram post and I had reply comments to that, replies to the story that I posted on Instagram and through, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's like Sarah Ha, Sarah Ha, I don't know how you say it. Uh, like an online anonymous thing. Also, if you have any questions for next time I do this, comment them down below so I can refer back to this video and answer your questions here. So I'm gonna start off with the questions on the post itself. So we've got a few on here. So, Jawline Jewelry, what's up girl? I love you. Um, says, Desert Island Beauty Product. I feel like I have to be mega emo and say eyeliner, like the thing that if I'm leaving the house and I can only throw one product on, I'm running out of time, it's always eyeliner. I don't know what it is, weird little lines above my eyes just make me feel better about my life. So 100% eyeliner and if I had to pick one eyeliner, it would be the NYX Epic Ink Liner, that is my favourite. Um, Mrs Kez Pope says, who's your favourite sibling? Mrs. Kez Pope is my oldest sister. I cannot answer that. That is mean, that is rude. You answer, who's your favorite? And it better be me or I'm gonna be offended. Okay, then I have five questions from Holly Dennington. She's my little stepsister. She is my baby, I love her. So she says, why did you decide to turn goth? I, <laughs> so lame. So I went through like an emo phase at the age of, 17, 16, 17, around that, um, because I found Pierce the Veil, embarrassing, I know, leave me alone, don't judge me. Um, so I had like a little emo phase, and then from that I started watching um, It's Black Friday and Toxic Tears on YouTube, and I was like obsessed with their style and the way they did their makeup and their clothes and the music they listened to and the things they talked about. So I just really slowly got into it through that way. I feel like every goth has had an emo phase. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel, you know, that's generally the way it happens. So yeah, just through emo and then through YouTube. Um, what's the worst thing about being goth? It has to be people's ignorance towards the subculture and thinking that just because you're a goth that you have mental health problems or you you're a bad person or you're not nice or you do drugs like stuff like that i mean don't get me wrong there's people in the subculture that are not nice and that do have mental health problems and that do take drugs but there's people like that in any subculture so i don't know why we have such a bad rep but there's that she then asked Jake the snake or pumpkin the cat so Jake is my boyfriend and then obviously pumpkin is my cat I can't choose one that's so mean but maybe pumpkin Shh. um she says do you miss me of course I miss you dolly do and I will come and see you soon I promise I love you uh, and she said what's your favorite eyeshadow palette I'd have to say my most used is the Kat Von D shade and light like the original one but my favourite in terms of colour range and all the different looks you can create is probably the original Metal Matte palette. I love it. I've been using that quite a lot recently. Um, Schmodet, I guess that's how you say it, asks, what's a really good green eyeliner, eyeshadow and lipstick and what's your spirit animal? So a really good green eyeliner is the, what do they call it, the NYX Vivid Brights liquid liners. Um, I think the green one's called Envy. I really, really like that. Um, a really good green eyeshadow is Midori by Sugar Pill. I believe it's Midori or Mochi. Pretty sure it's Midori. It's like a really bright green. I, I used that in a look on Father's Day and I really, I was really happy with how that came out. And a green lipstick, um, either bullet lipstick or liquid lipstick, Plan 9 from Kat Von D. I love, I wore that with the green eyeshadow and it looked bomb. What is your spirit animal? Hmm. I feel like the animal I'm most 
drawn to is a leopard, specifically Amor leopards. I've always been really drawn to those. I don't know why, I love them. But if I, how I am now, if I was an animal, I would probably just be like an old cat that's like, like a black cat that people are kind of creeped out by, but a cat that just sleeps all day, I would be a black cat. And Mena asks, what are your fashion inspirations? Um, I guess just scrolling through Instagram and seeing looks on there. Um, so stuff from Alexandra Metal Clown. Her stuff, is, oh, her looks are amazing. She, I'm pretty sure she like hand makes her garments and they're just incredible. Um, Ashley Rose Couture, obviously I could never afford anything from there, but absolutely amazing. I love Harper Lee Hollywood. I think her style's gorgeous. And then when companies post like lookbooks, you know, when you get them like through your emails, so like Dolls Kill and Kill Star, I love their lookbooks. I always think they're really inspiring. So that is all the questions from the post. So let's go to DM, who slid into my DMs? Um, oh, so a girl asked, or Dead Face Mia asked, where do you get your shirt? I love it. And it was the one from the what's in my bag goth edition um that shirt was actually from h&m i've had quite a few people ask it was from h&m a few years ago with their like halloween collection um so i don't think they sell it anymore but you might be able to find it like on depop or something I'm not sure um redford 0590 asked favored pet so the only pet i've ever had is pumpkin so she's my favorite she's my baby um but if i could have any pet in the world I'm a leopard and I wouldn't even care if it mauled me to death. I'd die happy. <laughs> um, I have no idea how you say this. A a Akari Haga? I'm, I'm so sorry, I probably said that wrong. What would you say your style is? By the way, you're so pretty and I love you. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. And I love you too. My style is... <laughs> Difficult to say. I do like wearing mostly black I like a lot of like mesh and I like layering so I like things that would typically be considered like fetish wear um so like this like top thing is Anne Summers um a lot of the things I wear I like lingerie but make it more wearable if that makes sense so like underwear is outerwear I really love that whole vibe um I like to wear, it depends how I'm feeling, a lot of the time I literally just wear like leggings and band t-shirts because I just want to be comfy, but if I'm wearing an outfit that I feel really good in, it's usually this kind of like lingerie vibe. Um, Carol FDZ says, would you rather have four hands or four feet? Love you. Love you too. Four hands because I have two feet and I'd still trip over those. Can you imagine me with four? I would be a mess. If I had four hands, I'd be able to like eat and change the channel and do my makeup and pet pumpkin. So I'm gonna say four hands. Right, that is those. Oh, I got a DM reply also from Tom Taylor1900, my brother. Who am I? Shit, who are you? <laughs> right on to the last questions someone says not a question but i think it'd be cool if you did more outfit of the day posts i definitely want to but it's like having the time to film outfit of the days or take pictures of them because there's nowhere inside my flat i can take a picture of my outfit i have to go outside and you know it's a lot of effort and i'm usually in a rush or running late <laughs> um why did you decide to remove your septum so I removed it a really long time ago. I, I don't know how long it's been without a septum. A long time, probably like over a year at least. Um, the septum, like the jewelry that I had in was really bulky. I think it's like a clicker. So it slots through and then there's like a big ring and then it clicks. And I was actually attempting to stretch it, but it kept the size that I had wouldn't go in and I just gave up and I just had the clicker in. And then every time I looked like if I do my makeup and I looked in the mirror, I just felt like it was really distracting and pulled the attention away from like my makeup. And I also feel because I've got like the cheek piercings and the nose rings that it was just too much in one place. So I didn't like it on me, so I just took it out. Um, are you calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. 
can I take you on a date? Cute, but no, sorry, taken, taken. Um, what do you want to do after uni? Honestly, nap. <laughs> uni was horrific. There'll be an upcoming video about uni. It's not a positive one. Um, in terms of a job, I honestly have no idea. Like, I don't want to work in the fashion industry. I've definitely decided that. But I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of just floating. So I have a full-time job at the moment, but I don't enjoy it. I definitely want to get a new job. Um, I just, at the moment, want something that pays a bit better. Um, and isn't so physical because I'm literally like I get such a bad back all the time and I think it's from work so I kind of just want to get just like a chill office job and then see where it goes from there hi have you ever been a girly girl before you got into the gothic culture I love your style now by the way it really suits you and you always look beautiful oh thank you um uh, I was indeed very girly <laughs> before I became a part of the subculture um, so I'm sure I've talked about it in other videos but my style icon was Kim Kardashian so I used to wear like white blouses and black skinny jeans and black blazers with big shoulder pads and have little like knockoff Celine bags and big sunglasses and my makeup was always really really natural with like nude lips a subtle smoky eye you know stuff like that and it just was so extra and I'd always like I'd always worry about painting my nails and is my lip gloss looking okay and I don't know stuff like that I was very girly like I've always had more there's a lot of interests that aren't necessarily girly that I've always had for instance like being like a football fan I've always supported West Ham always like been to see the games and stuff I love it um and then so my style was girly and I had girly traits and I still have some of those now but um, yeah so I was girly before I became goth <laughs> um, um, do you have an art account I'm assuming you mean Instagram I don't have an art account I did have a photography account which is lady sewing so I'll link it below if you're interested it's only got like five or six pictures um, I did really start getting into photography believe it was last year I can't quite remember maybe two years ago um, and I still am very much into photography but I'm just moving that interest over to my Instagram I'm just kind of fusing everything together now before I was a bit worried about like it would look a bit weird like having photography and makeup and this and that but I thought like that's me that's who I am so I'm just going to fuse it together um why are you a bellend doe I don't I don't know <laughs> am I <laughs> sorry um, who is your favourite from Pierce the Veil? That's a hard question. So, I hate to be cliche, but Vic is my favourite. I love Vic. I love him. Um, so I've met them all, and the ones that were the nicest when I met them were Mike and Jaime. Um, not that the others weren't nice, but they, like, complimented me, and they were like, Oh, I love your hair, and I was like, thanks. Um, I think it's just because I looked really shy and really awkward but so Mike and Jaime were like the most outgoing and the nicest when I met them but I do have such a big soft spot for Tony as well I just think he's so cute but Vic is my number one favourite. So that is all the messages I got for this Q&A all of the questions so I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see future Q&As you can um, leave questions down below um you can use my saraha whatever thingy which again will be linked down below or you could use the new contact form on my brand new website which i created which will also be linked below so if you want to check out my new website and leave me questions for future q a's then pop those or check out <laughs> my website so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know how you're doing say hey and I'll see you next time. Bye.